What's going on brother? I'm JK, founder and head coach at Pawn Reboots. Today we're going to be talking about what I call the religion of recovery. Now, when I first started trying to end my out of control behavior with pornography and masturbation seriously, I believed that moderation was absolutely impossible and I actually believed this for many years. What do I mean by moderation? By moderation, I mean the belief that there is no way that you could end your out of control behavior if you were using pornography or if you were masturbating even a little bit. And you may have that mindset as well. You may have the mindset that, you know what, if I slip even once, if I use pornography even once, then all the work that I've done has been completely wiped out. And the reason I didn't believe this is because of what I call this recovery religion, which is this belief or this doctrine. I don't mean a literal religion. I'm just comparing it in terms of doctrine and dogma. Is this belief that we have to go with 100% abstinence and that is the only way to end this out of control behavior. Now of course as I've mentioned in many of my other videos it's really up to you to find out how much moderation you can take in your reboot. First of all I don't believe that viewing pornography in moderation during your reboot is going to help you because chances are the cause of your problem is high-speed internet pornography which is something that is absolutely unnatural. We were never designed as human beings to consume that much stimuli. We were never designed to see that many naked people or such a variety of sexual behavior in such a short period of time. So like in a one hour period, just scrolling through Pornhub or any of the other porn sites, you are going to see more sex than any of your ancestors would in their lifetime. And so this damages your brain. But on the other hand, there are individuals who can masturbate in moderation after they have rebooted. Personally, I'm not one of those guys. So the whole masturbation with pornography thing doesn't work for me. I always end up going back to pornography. So personally, the one thing that works best for me is just sex. And I have as much sex as I need to be satisfied. But there are other men who don't have that option, who they have to masturbate here and there, but one of the things we teach them in the porn reboot system is how to do so in a way that is not compulsive. Now another man might come through our system and we realize that he's in the same boat as I was. Like if he masturbates, he's quickly going to slip. So it is on a case by case basis. But the main thing I wanted to talk about today was this recovery religion. And it has three characteristics, which I don't feel are the most healthy things. And it's important for you to actually question this and find out if this is actually one of the things that has been holding you back. The first thing it does is that it makes the idea of moderation absolutely frightening. It makes it something scary. So a lot of times in some of my videos and sometimes I'll get emails from men who say like, you know what, I don't think your system works because the moment you said that masturbation was a healthy thing, I knew that your system was not going to work. But the question is, where did you get that idea from? As I mentioned a few days ago in my video on abstinence, where did you get the idea that moderation is a bad thing? that masturbating a little bit is going to undo all the work. Oftentimes, perhaps you're following a system that was based on the 12 steps, that was based on treating alcoholics. And all they did was just replace alcohol with pornography and out of control sexual behavior. But even though there might be some similarities biochemically, these are two completely different behaviors. So if you're one of those guys who, when he hears someone say that you can masturbate a little bit and it's not going to affect your reboot, if the first thing you start doing is freaking out, ask yourself, where did I get the idea that moderation was such a scary thing? The second thing about this recovery religion is that it makes you fear your natural sexual behavior. Now, on one hand, you can fear your sexual behavior when it is out of control, when it's a rampaging beast that you have no control over. Yeah, it's absolutely fine to fear something that you have no control over. We help you control your behavior here. But it's a completely different thing to fear your sexual behavior because that is what someone or a group that's helping you end your behavior tells you you have to do. 
live in fear of your sexual behavior because you're never going to be able to control it. That's not a healthy way to live. That's not the way that an adult man should go through his life. Because he feels that he has no control over something, he now has to fear it for the rest of his life. And that is his actual recovery. As in, the recovery system requires that you fear and demonize your sexual behavior. That's not a healthy way to do anything. You need to understand it. And the truth is, when you understand your behavior, when you understand the reason why you're viewing pornography or engaging in some other out of control sexual behavior, that is the first step to gaining power over that behavior. At the end of the day, this recovery religion, this ideology of abstinence and moderation is a bad thing and fear your sexual behavior, they don't understand the reason why you're experiencing that. And as a result, you're thought to fear your sexual behavior. And the final thing about recovery religion is this belief that you need to fight it or you need to battle it, right? So you need to fight against this behavior. It's a battle against your lust. It's a battle against your urges. But this doesn't work either. And the reason why is that you cannot reboot by working against your brain. You can only reboot by working with your brain. And what that simply means is that on a conscious level, you want to reboot. You want to control this behavior. But if deep within you, you have beliefs like this is way too powerful, you have to fight it. This is a bad thing. This is a negative thing in your life. Because if you consciously want to end your behavior, if you consciously want to control your behavior, but in your unconscious mind, you're fighting against it and you view it as something evil, then it's not going to work. Your conscious mind and your unconscious mind need to work together or else your unconscious mind is always going to tell you, this is too hard, we're not going to be able to do it, we're not going to be able to battle against this out of control behavior. And that's where willpower comes in. Willpower comes in in this case because your conscious mind is doing one thing and your unconscious mind is working against you. And whenever I say, hey, in the porn reboot system, we don't use willpower, a lot of guys are confused. Another way to put it is that when your conscious mind and your unconscious mind are actually working together, there is no need for willpower because you don't need anything to pull the unconscious mind. Both of them are working together, right? So it doesn't mean that this entire process of rebooting is going to be easy. It isn't easy but it is simple once you understand the concepts behind it. You cannot fight or battle against this reboot. So brother, at the end of the day, what I would like you to take away from this is that your addiction to pornography, your compulsive sexual behavior, it is not a state of complete loss of control. It is not a state of hopelessness. Instead, it is a belief in loss of control and it is a belief in hopelessness. And once you can start dealing with that belief, everything about this changes. Guys ask me like, well, JK, how have you been off this for so long? How have your clients stayed off for so long? It's because the belief about it changed. And many of you in some form or the other have been indoctrinated into this recovery religion. It all starts with challenging your unconscious beliefs and changing it. And then the reboot process becomes something smooth and then you move past it. Rebooting is not supposed to be this huge aspect of your life. It's not supposed to be something that takes years and years and years. A year and a half to two years is how long it takes for you to rewire your brain. 90 days is how long it takes for us to teach you how to control that behavior. And a lot of men control that behavior in 90 days. Brothers, remember this. In my personal story, I went along with my life long after I had rebooted. It was actually later on when I found that there were men who needed help with this that I started doing this, right? I had a path, I was done with this. And you may not know this, but there are thousands and thousands of other men who have rebooted. They're just not talking about it on YouTube. They've dealt with it and now they're dealing with new, bigger problems in their life. So if you're out there feeling like this is some insurmountable obstacle, I want you to know that it's only insurmountable in your mind and we can help you change that belief. 
I'm JK, your brother in this struggle. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you found it helpful, please share it with three men whom you feel might benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe. And also in the description below this video, there are a few links to some of our free resources. You can download my free ebook. You can join our free Facebook group. And of course, if you have more questions about any of the concepts that I teach here on YouTube, or if there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover, go ahead and ask me in the comment section below. You don't need to donate to my Patreon or anything like that. I'll do it for you for free. Just ask. Have a wonderful day.